Hey everybody, welcome back to Some Things Fishy. We are super stoked to have you. We're super stoked to see that we're starting to get some awesome traction on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't yet, please go and give us a subscribe, like this video, comment below on what you'd like to see next, and we will get on to it. Uh, so great, let's, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Today we're going to be talking about clownfish, specifically about maroon clownfish. Now here's the thing, I will be the first person to say I think that maroon clownfish are the coolest clownfish on the market. They are absolutely gorgeous. That maroon kind of metallic color that they have to them is something that is so unique and you really don't see that color uh, with saltwater fish all that often. So they are very, very, very impressive, impressive fish, very cool to look at, and they make a cool difference in your tank. They really are just a great color to have, a great fish. Clownfish, as you know, if you're watching this video, you probably know that clownfish are fantastic fish to have in your saltwater fish tank. They're just great. They're great. You can put them in an anemone. They look so visually appealing. They typically interact really good with each other and with other fish in the tanks. So usually, clownfish are fantastic. So if I were you and, you know, and I was on, in the stage as well, I'd be wondering, okay, Clownfish are awesome, but I don't know if I want the general Nemo color. I don't know if I want that orange color. There's so many cool colors and patterns and different things to choose from. And that's because they're bred in captivity. So uh, with a lot of breeding and, and mixing and things like that, they've, they've come up with the maroon color, the white color, crazy patterns like the Mocha Storm, things like that. There's just some really, really, really cool clownfish on the market. Maroon clownfish being kind of top of, of the market in terms of the color. A lot of people think that way. Here's a catch though. Maroon clownfish are some of the most aggressive fish in the saltwater fish tank realm. I'm not even kidding you. They are so, so aggressive. And the issue is they're not only aggressive to other clownfish species like the ocellaris or, or other ones like that. They're aggressive to pretty much any fish in the tank. So that is the dilemma. That is, that is the dilemma, dilemma that you're going to have to go through if you're deciding to to buy a clownfish and looking into buying a maroon clownfish specifically. In fact, as you're, as you're seeing here and with the footage that we've got, we, we go to this local fish store pretty much every week and oh my gosh, they always have maroon clownfish and there are always dead ones at the bottom of the tank. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. I'm not exaggerating. There's no other reason for me to say what I know and what I've seen besides trying to help you make the right decision for your tank. And what I'm telling you right now is these maroon clownfish are so aggressive that they will typically kill each other within a couple of days of being in the store. In fact, many times I see them separating them out into like smaller tanks in this store so that there's one per tank. And even then you can kind of see them kind of like beta fish kind of trying to attack each other through the glass and just not cool, not cool at all. In fact, uh, Sean, the other uh, YouTuber on this YouTube channel, he wanted to get uh, a maroon clownfish, a pair, for his tank, his saltwater fish tank, and he's got like a 50-gallon tank, so it's a big boy. There's there's lots of room, should be fine, right? Well, he, he was going to get them, and <laughs> the uh, one of the workers at the store begged us not to. How funny is that? A worker at a saltwater fish tank store begged us not to get maroon clownfish. That just goes to show that maybe this isn't the right kind of fish for your tank. Uh, maybe other owners of the store, other people, other employees wouldn't say that, uh, depending on where you, where you are. But we had made a pretty close relationship with this certain individual over the, the course of the last six months or so. She, she's been awesome. We always chat with her. She's great. And she's like, please don't get that fish because it's gonna they're going to kill each other. They're either going to kill each other or one of them will die or they're going to go and be really aggressive towards the other fish. She's like, we hate these fish. We hate these maroon clownfish. They are so brutal. They are just so, so, so aggressive. And that is, that's a huge downside because you, you don't want to mess up with the balance of your tank. You don't want to mess up the, uh, the compatibility in your tank. You gotta be so careful with those things. Here's what I will say though, and this is some advice that we got from other professionals in the sea, uh, saltwater fish tank industry is if you're going to put aggressive fish in the tank, like if, if you're set like, hey, I think maroon clownfish are the coolest, I don't care what people are saying, I'm just going to try it out. I want to see what happens. I think I can make it work. Well, here's what you need to do. 
um, you need to put them in your tank last. You need to have your other fish get a chance to get to know the tank, to know where the hiding options are, uh, how to escape. If you put in like if you put them in first, your clownfish are gonna become super territorial to, towards the whole tank or the best parts of the tank, and your other fish aren't gonna really know where to go, where to hide, how to get away, and it's just gonna be a bloodbath. It's it's not gonna be good. So the recommendation I would give to you if you really do want to go forward with a maroon clownfish is put them in your tank last. So for Sean's example, he's got that new 50 gallon tank, lots of fish in there. Uh, he's, I, I don't know, he's got like seven or eight fish in there right now. If he wanted to get that pair, then he should put them in last. That way that his other fish have had the time that they need to uh, be safe, to know where to hide, to have their own little territory so that the clownfish can hopefully find their own territory somewhere else. Again, you got to be careful getting these guys in pairs because they're so aggressive even towards each other. You'd hope that at least maroons would be pretty chill with maroons, but not really the case. As you can see, they kill each other like crazy, and that sucks super bad. Uh, but here's one upside. Here's an upside to maroon clownfish, and that is they're not expensive, at least at the stores that we go to local here in Castle Rock, or sorry, in in uh, Colorado, they are not very expensive. You'd think that a, a fish this good looking and this visually appealing would be very expensive, like maybe $80. There's a lot of clownfish that even go for $200. We're seeing these for like $15 a piece or like $25 for the pair. That's not bad at all. So if you're looking to get a really cool clownfish that is not <laughs> over $50, this is a good route for you to take. Again, that might be because they're overly aggressive. That might be the reason that they're so cheap, because they just die. <laughs> I'm not sure, but th those are the insights that we gained over the last little while about maroon clownfish. They're awesome. Clownfish are great fish, and these ones specifically are super good looking. I would be careful. If I were to give you a recommendation, I would say don't get them. There's plenty of other cool ones, cool clownfish, that are more towards that Ocellaris breed, and those are way, way, way more passive. Sure, they might get nippy at times, but nothing like these maroon clownfish. They are just absurdly aggressive to the point where people in the store will tell you, don't get them, don't buy this from me, buy something else from me because I don't want you to be upset. So anyways, that's our video covering maroon clownfish. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is Landon from Something Fishy. Please subscribe, hit that like button, comment below what you'd like to see next, and we will make it for you. And we're really looking forward to the future of this channel. Thanks for, thanks for coming. Really appreciate it.